Hey, y'all, Choice here. Thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Here, I want to take a moment and talk a little bit and talk a little bit about... You know I've done many videos on words. <laughs> but this time, I just want to talk a little bit about this. If you can, if you can check, if you can, if you can, if you can, um, how can I say this? If you can, be mindful about the words that you use to define yourself or, and, and, be mindful about how other people use words to define you so that you can correct it within yourself, that you don't subscribe to it. So, in order to begin taking back our power, we need to redefine. You know, they say, okay, find your real name, change your name. Once you change your name, the connections within your mind will change. It's the same as learning a new language. When you go out and you learn a new language, new connections are formed in your mind, within your brain, new pathways. And it, it allows you vibrationally, the frequency will then tap into other types of frequency that you may not have connected with before because you were not emitting a certain sound, a certain vibe, a certain frequency. So that's what happens in languages. A languages allow you to type in, to tap into different frequencies, okay? So I'm saying it's like changing your name gives you a different route, you know, names are very powerful, and every time someone calls your name, they're invoking, they are, uh, they are calling that energy, that essence of that name. So, whatever the frequency is of the, of the name, is what's been invoked, evoked, or whatever, when your name is called. Every time your name is called. Every time your name is called. It's, re, it's, it's, it's reconnecting you to that same thing. Okay? So it's the same thing with words. When people want to use words like poor, disenfranchised, this, and uh, uh, needy, minority, any of these words, that's why the white says supremacy, even though <laughs> we know that that's their story that they made up for themselves. They created their own narrative, and they named themselves, and they named themselves for that, in order so they can remind themselves that they are superior. And so every time we say it, we reaffirm it for them. We reaffirm it. We keep, um, we keep reaffirming that for them by telling them they're, they're superior because we call them that, right? But we have to do that for ourselves. We are powerful. We are mighty. We are mighty. We are powerful. We are divine greatness. All that we do, everything that we do, all... All that we do prospers for, for us and our family. We are rich beyond measure. So anyone using words like those other words I mentioned, low vibrational words, those kind of words keep you in a certain box.
those words those words Those words confine you to a certain box. So anything that is not emitting a frequency of pure divine power, rich beyond measure, greatness, powerful, almighty, anyone that comes with disenfranchised, poor, weak, sorry, and the list goes on. Those words have no place with you because it's not your truth. Unless you choose to, to be that. Unless you choose to be that. But if it's not, if it's not, flip it, change it. No, every time you hear a word, it's just like, you know, people, you had melanated people, our bodies, powerful, strong, and healthy, always. We had people, <laughs> we were working day and night, building up everything, all day, all night, just doing all nature of things for other people in their countries or our countries that they came in and took, okay? And still, the others, they couldn't hang with us. They were dying off. They were, they were weak. But somehow they, they needed an industry, a health industry. They needed to find somewhere to push these different things that they have now, which is now... The only reason that we're believing is because we're believing that we're, we're sickly or we're this or we're not, you know, what we are. We, we have brought in to the narrative that we have the highest numbers of this and we have the highest numbers of that. When anyone speaks that, you speak over that. Your truth. Your body is powerful, strong, and healthy. That's the way the Creator made it. It's so much so where the cells are renewing, they are changing, and and your body is designed to, to go on forever. Because everything is renewing. The only reason it's not is because somewhere we got it in our heads has been indoctrinated that we can only live but so many years. We can only be. Now, the Most High may have a plan, and that, that's in place. The universal laws are in place, so if we're not meant, then it's divinely ordered. That's fine. But let it not be because of what someone else is saying about us. We have to now take our minds back and know that we are powerful and strong and healthy people. And whatever we need is in nature because we are of nature. We are nature. To do harm to nature is to do harm to yourself. We are nature. Not all people are nature, of nature. That's why they can so readily go and destroy nature. Because they have no connection. They have no connection. So, all power is with you, okay?
I know I do this thing where I end up all over the place, but I just wanted to let you know that even if you hear someone defining you a certain way, be sure that you reaffirm who you be. Rebuke it without getting emotional, without feeling any way. Let that be the words coming out of their mouth because that belongs to them. That's their reality. It actually has nothing, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Does not have anything to do with you unless you accept it as true. As if, and then you answer to it. And then you get emotional about it. Then you made it a part of your DNA. <laughs> yeah. Your DNA records everything. Everything goes into what someone would call the Akasha records. Everything goes into the ether. All things are sealed. They're out there. For anyone else that wants to vibe at that frequency is available. Okay? But anytime you hear anything, use it as an opportunity to, to tell it like it is, to tell the truth. You're almighty. The Almighty flows through you. The Almighty flows through you. All power is within you. You are rich beyond measure. Greatness is who you are. And as many, as much as people want us to walk around blindfolded as though we don't see all of these carved statues and stuff that are all around us look just like you and me. They're trying to change it though. <laughs> We're the beginning. The most